Um, so today on this rather cold Delhi morning, I warmly welcome all the guests, all the members of the union, the parents, and especially the cohort of 2022. Today, today your cohort has achieved something that could never achieve in any course during your academic year. An almost 100% attendance record. <laughs> This was last only seen during your orientation. But you know what? I feel you. Only if MBA classes started at 4 p.m. instead of 9 a.m., I myself might have contemplated doing one. <laughs> anyway, I congratulate you all today. Some of you have found your dream job. Some of you have founded your companies, your startups, and even some of you have found your dream partners. While I'm sure you have a very eventful life ahead of you, let me also warn you that this age, you're all 24, 25, that this age marks perhaps the most amount of hair you'll have on your heads. It's only downhill from here, guys. But graduates, before we continue with the event, can you please stand up? Can you please take off your hats? Can you please turn 180 degrees towards your parents? and join me in applauding them for all that they do for us <laughs> parents today belongs to you as much as it belongs to the graduates it means the world to us that you took time out of your busy schedules and traveled all the way here to delhi to be with us today thank you you guys can sit and finally i want to extend a very warm welcome to india's og internet entrepreneur whose impact extends not only to the jobs we get and the houses we buy but also to the food we eat and the spouses we end up marrying mr vikchandani we love you and we're stoked to have you here today <laughs> dear graduates even if you were not the first cohort you are still as much the og cohort you took a chance on masters union when the new fancy campus was just a vision When the class projector had to be reset every 10 minutes. Do you guys remember that? When the Instagram Instagram page had less than 30 followers. And when Google Maps would get our location wrong all the time. And most importantly, when the placement report was still not out. Do you remember your initial days? In fact, do you remember the first day of your orientation when I was taking and presiding over the placement town hall? Do you guys remember that? I remember asking a question, a very simple one, something like, you know, what do you mean? What do you think product management is, or what do you think ESOPs are? And I was met with dead silence. No one raised their hand. No one spoke a word. And I remember looking at Nandini at that time. I don't know if you remember. I looked at Nandini as a kya karenge in bachon ka. But see how far we have come today. Today, the CAs of your cohort are designing UI UX. Software developers are reading balance sheets. Consultants are managing founders' offices. and freshers are closing enterprise deals how far you guys have all come you're running brand campaigns crunching data building products at companies small and large and also of your own today neither one of you is the same person i met on the 2nd of august 2021 and it's been an absolute pleasure to have front row seats to your lives I remember the union ambassadors hustling and pulling all nighters during the admissions making sure that the cohort 3 is as strong as it is today. A round of applause to them. I commend the hustle and struggle of placements which by no means was easy intellectually and emotionally. I can never forget the raw inspiring enthusiasm of the folks building Fantouche, Zood and Vidur. In fact, it's a statement in itself that the very certificates you'll be getting today The NFTs for them have actually been minted by a blockchain startup Alpha Mint started by one of your own. Let me just say this. You were the stable, thoughtful middle child. You were not spoiled and entitled like the first child. Or dare I say whiny and stubborn like the third cohort. Sorry, third child. <laughs> Today as Masters Union turns to Your work has made us the most talked about institution perhaps in the country. Our hands-on pedagogy, dropshipping, VIP etc is now being replicated at many of the IIMs and I'm told even at NCAD. Our practitioner led learning model has now been brought mainstream by the NEP and the UGC. From just a thousand applications a year ago, we now see over 10,000 applications for these very seats and perhaps the most important indicator of success today. 
I've started getting sifarish calls from politicians offering us money to get their kids into Masters Union. <laughs> We've also started receiving requests to open franchises in many cities. And you know what, I'm tempted to say yes to Goa and of course Manali. When we started, our vision was to become you know, the top 10 in the country, become a top business school. But our performance after cohort 1 and cohort 2 has made our visions bolder and bigger. Today, we intend to be India's first entry into the top 10 global business school rankings and we're not going to stop till we get there. Five years ago, and as I'm corrected, four years ago, at a very formal dinner in Latian's Delhi, I was sitting next to a very understated middle-aged gentleman. I did not know who he was. He turned to talk to me and asked me what I was up to. So I very nonchalantly told him about the app that I was building at the time. Since I did not know who he was, I tried to explain the app in very basic, simple, almost condescending words, without using too much jargon. The man humored me and intently heard my rather patronizing explanation. The conversation ended and he added me his business card and told me to keep him updated about the company's app's progress. I looked at the business card and to my sheer embarrassment, the card said the name Sanjeev Vikchandani on it. Did I really just meet Mr. Vikchandani and make a complete fool of myself? Maybe so, but he patiently heard me and never corrected me even I was just being a douche. <laughs> That's the magnanimity of Mr. Vikchandani. Today, sir, I could not have asked for a more celebrated entrepreneur to be our chief guest. Your story and impact would make for a blockbuster Raju Hirani movie. In the early days of N4H, you hustled to fund the venture, taught in a coaching institute, worked in a newspaper, and even traded equity for programming classes. I read. As you worked from your parents' servants' quarter, you gave India perhaps its first ever real use case of the internet in the form of job listings. You were perhaps one of the first, if not the first, internet entrepreneur in India to raise money and also one of the first to go public. Your impact spans across industries and I myself have been a long-standing customer of Nokri.com, IMJobs.com, Shiksha.com, 99acres.com and of course Zomato and back in the day even JeevanSathi.com. In an otherwise extraordinary life, full of firsts and top ranks, perhaps your only miss was attending what can be best called as India's second best business school, I am Ahmedabad. But we'll cut you some slack, Masters Union did not exist back then. <laughs> Students, as you graduate today, I wish you a life as fulfilling and impactful as Mr. Bikchandani's. Let me explain in words you will understand. Your entire life today onwards will be a series of electives, no mandatory core curriculum or core courses anymore. So please choose those electives that you, that actually put out of your comfort zone, not just the ones that are easy or the ones that have classes starting at 5 p.m. Let's re revisit the orientation one more time. If you remember, we asked each one of you to make a bucket list of things you want to do during your stay at Masters Union. You guys remember that? We asked you to write that list, put it in an envelope and seal it shut. Today is the day you open that envelope. I'm certain that many of you would have ticked off many of the items. To see where you have come, please look below your respective seats. You'll find that envelope right there. Can you guys find it? There you go. I want you to, you know, I'm sure a lot of you would have, would realize that you've ticked off a lot of those things in that list. How does it feel? You've achieved so much in this one year. Imagine the abundance of things you can accomplish in your years and in your personal lives ahead. So graduates, get out there and invent something incredible. Have fun, make errors and never stop learning. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be here speaking at a convocation of a business school on your own. But hopefully with some better jokes. Thank you.